<clears throat> Just firing up my tablet. Oh, it's cold in my room today. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to give it a minute or two. See if we get some people. <clears throat> oh, I have been clearing my throat all day long. And I hope I'm not getting something. Hi, Penny. Eh? <clears throat> How are you? Good, I hope. So, I'm not going to play with, like, any bundles today. Um, I have a bunch of markets coming up, and I need to make some Christmas gift card holders. So, that's probably all I'm going to be playing with tonight. And I thought I would just jump on and we'll see how many we can make in the hour and we'll just drink coffee, chat, and you guys can keep me company while I pump out some gift card holders. Hi Allison, hi Kathy, how are you? Good I hope. So ahead of time, I cut out a bunch of, um, well, this is retired paper. <clears throat> And uh, let me see, this was from last year maybe, or maybe the year before. Tis the Season Designer Series Paper 6x6. Six six. Um, it comes in 6x6, six six, so I cut them down to 5x5. Five five. And then the 1 inch by 6 inch strips are going to be for my belly band so <clears throat> I just cut out a bunch um, ahead of time to save on time and <clears throat> I have an old circle punch from year like I've had this for probably eight years and I have an old Stampin' Up! punch that I use a lot when I'm doing gift card holders um, I also grabbed my retired tag punches because I thought those would be good for gift card holders. Um, I grabbed some of the celebration paper from last year because um, I think glitter paper looks really nice on the gift card holders. And then I have itty bitty Christmas because I need small sentiments um, for my gift card holders. And then I have this set which I like to use as well because it fits perfectly in my little punch. I have one of these left over from a card that I did last week so I just put that aside. Um, so yeah, let's just jump in and make some gift card holders. Um, so it ain't going to be too exciting but... Um, these sell really well at my Christmas market, so I, I just want to get a bunch done up. So, I'm just going to put the stuff off to the side here. And I was, you know, I just get ready to go live last night, and then my water softener started uh, doing the refresh thing. And it's literally on the other side of my craft room, so it was super loud, and there was no way I was going to do a live with that going on. It's raining in Texas. It was actually brisk here today. Really, really brisk. Okay, so I have my envelope punch board. Um, so your paper size when you're doing a gift card is 5x5. Five and then you want to score at the two inch mark. So put your paper at the two inch mark and 
to punch. And I'm going to grab my little stylus tool. Because I don't care for the I don't care for the stylus that comes with the machine. I like using my little ball tool. Whoops. So then you want to line your score mark up. Punch. Score. And punch and score. And I love, you know, just spending a couple hours at a time and making these because they're so much fun and I like to mix it up. So, um, there is a punch on the other side that you can like round your corners off and I actually have a corner rounder that I like to use. Um, Gosh, I probably got this when I worked at Michael's a couple years ago, so I like to use this. And I find it's a little bit quicker, and it holds all my little paper bits. So I'm just going to score and punch out a couple of these, and then we'll assemble a few of them. And... So I'm going to pick out the, because I like to have my belly band match <clears throat> my paper. So, oh, just a second, my software is doing something weird. Okay. Looks like my tablet froze. I'm going to go back out and come back in. That's weird. Okay, so. Oh, that one's pretty. Let's do this one. So I finally got my surgery date for those who don't know. It's going to be on December 19th. So Merry Christmas to me. I'm just actually glad I'm getting it done. It's been almost two years. Two years. That's a long time to wait. This is probably going to be boring for you guys, but like I said, I need to I need to pump some of these out because I have a market this Sunday. No. Um, I got a market this Sunday, and I got, I got some big um, weekend whole weekend you know events coming up and I want to have quite a few of these done so I'm just picking up some designs and picking up my matching band and half the fun is you know picking out your sentiment Sometimes I like to add little, you know, die cut pieces, but I only sell these for two bucks a piece, so I keep them pretty simple, because the more you can pump out in a certain amount of time, uh, that's, that's really where you make your money, right? So, but I don't sell many of these, you know, during the rest of the year, but for some reason, People love these at Christmas time, so. They're a lot of fun. I enjoy making them. 
I gotta go through all my crocheted critters and I think I gotta lower some of my prices because some of my stuff sells well but then other stuff not so much so I'm thinking I might maybe have it priced too high so it's always a little better to price high and then come down later for now. So I'm just going to put that off to the side. Put that off to the side, that off to the side, and that off to the side. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay. So then I have my little bone folder and I just kind of decide which side I'm going to use. I kind of want to use the plaid side. So. And I don't like this little little piece here so I usually take uh, like a pen and I just make a mark on either side of my envelope flap and then I take my circle punch and I just go on either side of those lines and then I punch and then that looks like that. And you can always take your scissors and just trim that off. Okay, so then I take my belly band and see the inside is, is that. So I just kind of put this in the middle like that. And then I fold it down. And then I don't like having my belly bands too tight, so I just push up a little bit. And then go like that. And then I just glue, I just. Glue my flap down like that. And then I usually do that to all of them. And I usually put, you know, something on top of it just to kind of weigh down the, um, <clears throat> just, you know, while the glue dries. And I like the red side on this one. Actually, I'm not even going to mark this one. I'm just going to take Oh, I gotta glue the uh, the envelope. Duh. Gotta glue the envelope. Maybe I'll do this this way first, and then I'll go back and 
Okay, so I think I like the red side to this one. And this is great for using up your retired paper. I'm just going out and coming back in again. You're welcome, Blanca. I'm very happy that you got it. And these are so quick and easy, like, like usually I'll spend like two or three hours and just pump out as many as I can. <clears throat> Let's do the bells for this one. I don't know, maybe I need a bigger circle. For this one. There, that looks better. Looks a little bit more even. Two bucks might seem like a lot, but I had no problem selling them for two dollars, so I had people buying like five at a time. Okay, so now I have to glue my flaps. So again, I'm just going to put a punch on top. These are addictive. Okay. So let's cut out a couple of these. <clears throat> um, and this is really thick stuff, so. You might want to use a die and run it through your embossing machine because it's uh, it's really thick glittered cardstock. But I'm committed now, so there we go. I wouldn't want to do that too many times. Okay. So now, I'm just going to punch out some, actually, let me grab some inks. Because I think it's easier to stamp your sentiment and then punch out. <clears throat> so let's do 
Merry Christmas. Whoops. And we're going to do that in Cherry Cobbler. And I have a lot of white space on this, so this is where you can bring in a little bit of greenery. <clears throat> and this stamp set is good for that. So we have Christmas season, and I'm going to use this pine spray. This one here so I stamped my sentiment in cherry cobbler and this looks like garden green or shaded spruce it actually looks like shaded spruce so I'm gonna stamp in shaded spruce and I'm gonna stamp off first like that And then I'm going to add quite a bit of glue because we are going on glitter paper. I always pop up my little sentiment there. And I usually use two dimensionals like that. <clears throat> and then I cover up the seam. is one gift card holder and again I'm gonna weigh something down on this because I want that glue to really adhere to my um, glittered cardstock okay so this one is red <clears throat> so I'm gonna use I'm going to do the sentiment in red again, and let's do holiday cheer. <clears throat> now this one. Um, I guess if I stamp off with my green, it will make it a lighter shade. So I'm going to do that again. <clears throat> I just had that stamp. What did I do with it? <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. Oops. Look at me. Making a mess. There we go. Okay, I need a baby wipe. <clears throat> and a piece of paper top. OK, 
Okay, now, same thing. <clears throat> Lots of Tombow. Like every gift card holder that I've made with this glitter paper, always sells. Because <clears throat> it's so pretty. So there we go, belly band matches the inside. Now look how pretty that is. And <clears throat> put it under a weight. Okay, so this one I'm going to do because <clears throat> my gift card holder is red. This is green. I think I'm going to do I wonder if that would cut through the glitter paper easily. Probably not. <clears throat> Let's do a red scallop and we're going to do green lettering. So let's do that. And I always use up my scraps first. season bright and then you can always grab a dotage stamp There's a dotted stamp in Marius Moments. And I'm going to do red dotage. And I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on like that. And then you can always run this through your embossing folder. So let's do that. off to the side. And I'm going to use the Wintry 3D embossing folder, which is Pine Sprays. that to that. And you don't see much of the sprigs, but I like to emboss my pieces. It just adds a little something. Okay. I'm not seeing comments, so I gotta go back out and come back in. Hi Jan! How are you?
<clears throat> and then you can take your Wink of Stella and you can always just, you know, add a little bit of glitter to your belly band. And the glitter is very subtle, but so cute. Okay, so. Now we have the bells. So, <clears throat> my belly band is red. Let's do <clears throat> a shaded spruce. And again, I'm just going to quickly run that through an embossing folder. scraps here somewhere. Let's see. I always have white scraps laying around. Okay, so let's use I have itty bitty Christmas because it's got some small sentiments on it. Thinking of you at Christmas, that's a cute one. You know, especially for a gift card holder because you are going to put a gift card or money inside. Um, so red belly band. We have silver bells. So let's heat and boss in silver. I think that would look nice. Okay, I think that would look nice. So I need my Versamark. Thinking of you at Christmas. And I'm gonna grab my silver embossing powder. Now if I was you know, making a bunch of these. I would stamp and I would do all the stamping. I would do an assembly line. But because I'm just playing around while I chat with you guys, I'm just kind of making one at a time. But like tomorrow, I'll probably make some more because I do need quite a few. Um, but for tonight, we're just playing around. I'm going to turn on my heat gun. It's going to get loud for a second. Something really wonky happened. I'm gonna redo that because I don't know. Let me see. I'm gonna do that again because I don't like how that looked. Uh, I didn't use that. Now that I'm looking at the paper, it's not stamping up cardstock. So 
I find when you don't use Stampin' Up! stuff, like, what did I do with my first mark? I just had it. Okay. Like, it better not be in my embossing powder, because I just, that embossing powder is new. Like, bought this year new. Sometimes I don't always use Stampin' Up! stuff if I'm uh, not, you know, making a video or, um, oh my god, what did I do with that? I just had it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Try this again. <clears throat> That's better. Much better. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to punch this out. And it just fits on there. That's why I love Itty Bitty, Bitty Christmas. It's great for this kind of stuff. I was really sad when they retired this. Because I use it a lot. Okay, I'm not seeing comments. This is super annoying. The Where the envelopes are from, I'll show you on the next gift card holder because um, I, you make them. You make the envelopes. Okay, so there is another one. And I like using like a silver embossing powder because I had the silver bell. So I like mi mixing and matching. So there's that. So we've made we've made four gift card holders so far. So they're like super easy to do. So let's make a few more. Um, so. What you want to do is you want to cut down paint your your cardstock. Let's see. Let's make this one. So you want to cut your paper, and this is five by five. And then the cardstock that you want for your belly band is one by six. So I like to use the 6x6 designer series paper because when you cut your your cardstock down to 5x5, you get a 1 inch by 6 inch strip. So that's what I like to use. And then Stampin' Up! used to sell these, but they don't anymore. Um, it's an envelope, envelope punch board. So your 5x5 piece of cardstock. And it says right on here, card size, paper size, and your score line. So a gift card, your paper is 5x5, five five, and you want to score at 2 inches. So you want to put your edge of the paper at the 2 inch mark, and you want to punch, and then you want to score. And I like to use this stylus tool and not the one that comes with the machine. So then you want to rotate, you want to line up 
your score line with this little thing right here. So you punch and score, rotate your paper, line up your score mark, and you wanna score every time you rotate. So then you're gonna line up your score, punch, and score again. Rotate, line up your score, punch, and my punch keeps sticking. Okay, there's a little punch on this side that you can round your corners. I don't like using it because like I said, my punch is sticking. So I usually just use my corner rounder. And I just find this faster and easier. Okay, so let's do let's do the plaid side. So you just want to fold over on your score lines. I like to get rid of this little flappy. So I just take a punch and I just punch that off like that. Okay, so then you want to just add glue to your edges. Okay, and the inside is my deer, so that's going to be the outside to my belly band. So I fold it over, I move my belly band up just a little bit, and then fold it again, because I don't want my belly band tight. I want it to slide off and on easily. Okay. Okay. And then I usually, where the seam is, that's where I'll put my scallop. Um, piece. Um, I also have this poinsettia. So this one, I won't even put a sentiment on it. I'll maybe I'll just add a a flower to it. And I'll just put one right in the middle. And I want to cover up my seam, so oops. So there's another holder done. Get on there. Maybe I didn't slide this one up enough, but there we go. So there's that one. So they're very quick and easy to make. Like I said, I'm probably boring you with this, but like I said, I have a market, a bunch of markets coming up and I need to pump out quite a few of these. So I'll probably work on these tomorrow. Well, let's do another one. Let's do the snowflakes. That's it, it's easy money. Like I sell them for two bucks and people pay it. You know, no questions asked, so. Like this envelope punch board has paid for itself probably 10 times over. Easily. Okay. And let's do the snowflake side.
I like to punch the little flap off. Stampin' Up! paper is the best paper for making these because it's double-sided. That one I didn't get very straight, but it's fine. So there's black in my DSP. So I'm probably going to do a black scallop. And again, I'm going <clears> to <throat> emboss that because I like it to be embossed. And then I'm probably going to do red lettering and uh, let's do thinking of you at Christmas because that's such a nice one for a gift card holder and then I think we'll add some bling bling to this one Dimensionals. I always pop my sentiments up. And you just want to make sure you're covering that seam. So let's add some bling bling to this one. And I have the festive pearls, and I'm going to add silver over to this one. There we go. And there's another one. So, like I said, very, very quick and easy to do. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six gift card holders in what? 45 minutes, maybe? Now if I was, like I said, if I was doing an assembly line, it, I would probably get more done, but I just played around having some fun, thought I would pop on and make a few gift card holders with you. Um, I'll probably spend a couple hours tomorrow pumping out a bunch more um, but have fun with it like I like to use retired paper but look at this one this one has pine cones you could add some pine cone accents on your belly band like just play and have fun lots you can do all right so i think i'm going to call it a night um and uh i'll make a bunch of these tomorrow and we'll see you next week with something else I'm not sure what we'll play with but um thank you for popping on if you're watching the replay on youtube give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you follow me have a great day everybody Bye.